This is the Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Pisces from July 21st to August 4th, 2021. Let's get to it. What do we got coming up for you in the next two weeks? Nine of Cups. Page of Wands. And the Moon card. This is something you're not expecting. It's like there's going to be a secret admirer coming forward. They have some higher purpose that they want to, to show you. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups. This is very mature, authentic love that this person has for you. You don't see this coming. Three of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Two of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So it's either or, but this is someone that wants a relationship with you. They want to collaborate with you on something. And with the Three of Pentacles, it's it's like they want you to join their soul group, like some people that they're working with. Let's clarify this Three of Pentacles here. Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles. They may be cutting somebody out. To make way for you. It's like in order for this to work, someone has to leave on their end. This person wants to collaborate with you. They, they want a partnership. Two cards of collaboration. Partnership. Interesting. Let's get to the random love generated questions and see if they shed some light. How did this love interest view you in the past? I'm trying to. The Empress. The Hangman. And the tower, all major arcana cards. This person's perspective of you has totally flipped. It's almost like it's almost like they they didn't think that you were correct in something you were doing, like they were opposed to you in the past. But the way this person is, is seeing you now is completely different from the past. Like they're, they're seeing that you're both moving in the same direction, like, like you're moving in line with your destiny. Somehow the way this person was meant to see you was, was not good in the past. Let's clarify this hangman for them. Exchange for you. Generosity.
something was not being valued here. Interesting. They may have thought that you wanted something from them. They couldn't understand what you were trying to get from them. Like, did you want something from them? Or were you trying to give them something? They took it the wrong way. Whatever it was, they took it the wrong way. Hmm. What will happen if you reach out to this love interest in the next two weeks? The magician, the hierophant, and the five of swords. I don't feel that it's you reaching out to this person. I feel it's, it's them reaching out to you. You're oblivious to this. You're, you're not trusting this. This person has something to tell you, something, something, it's like some sort of thing they want to teach you, some sort of truth they want to reveal to you. It's regarding what they're doing. Like they want to attract you towards them. Let's clarify. Let's clarify this magician energy. So let's clarify this five of swords. You're not trusting it. For them? Trust? For you? Fantasy. You want to trust this, but you think it, this is a fantasy. You think this is something that's too good to be true. The Hierophant is the marriage and commitment card of the Major Arcana. This person wants to attract you towards them. What is a message for your highest good at this time? Six of Cups, Soulmate Energy, someone from the past returning, Reconciliation. Nine of Wands, and the Devil. It's like you've, you've sacrificed so much. This connection had, it's like you, you feel that this was all a temptation. Like the way you're viewing this person is, very judgmental. You're very critical here. You're looking at all the things you sacrificed. But there's a reconciliation coming. Someone is leaving the picture here with the Six of Cups. Let's clarify the Six of Cups here. For them? Seven of Cups, King of Pentacles. Whoever is leaving this picture is someone who has a lot of choices. Things may not be working out with this person and your love interest. And they're kind of bailing on them. They're moving towards something else. But I don't feel your, your love interest really cares about that. With the Six of Cups, nothing can stand between soulmate energy. 
So if there is a third party, they're leaving. Someone's getting cut out. But I don't feel that this third party is really disadvantaged by this. It's it's like they don't really feel connected to this, to your love interest. There's other opportunities for them. However, it seems you need to let go of some of this judgment because you, you've got your boundaries set up where there shouldn't be any. You need to, it seems you need to let go of, of the past, of these negative thoughts. <laughs> In the extended, we'll look into, is there a third party influencing this connection? These questions are all random. I don't even look at them before the, they're eating. What's the most likely outcome for this connection at this time? We'll ask, what does the universe require from you before this love interest is allowed into your life? And we'll ask, how will this love interest affect your life? The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.